Presenting the Sailboats to Go Telescoping Leeboard Unit for Canoes. With quick release ends. Right? You just push this button and the end comes right off. And you can store your leeboard just like that with a little stubby end on it. You don't ever have to completely unscrew this knob. So it's going to save you a lot of time and be very convenient. Telescoping so that it adjusts to fit the width of your canoe wherever you want to mount it. Obviously a canoe is narrow at the ends, wide in the middle. This telescopes way down to 30 inches, way out to 4 feet. And you just telescope it out enough so that the leeboards will clear the canoe back here at the tip when they're swung up and then lock the telescoping adjustment by tightening these two little star knobs in the middle. It comes with two gunnel clamps that attach it to your canoe. No tool installation, just tighten these hand knobs and clamps it right on. If the gunnel lip on your canoe is on the outside, no problem. Just take the gunnel clamps off, turn them around, and put them on the outside. I say turn them around because you want the long leg of the L bracket bearing on the underside of the crossbar and the short leg of the L bracket of the gunnel clamp bearing on the underneath side of your gunnel lip. I'm showing them here with the unbreakable premium quality polycarbonate blades. Those are the white ones unbreakable and lighter. We also sell it at a lower price with phenolic leeboard blades and the phenolic are a bit heavier and they're pretty rugged but they're not unbreakable. If you really smashed it on a rock it would crack. So there you have it, the Sailboats to Go telescoping leeboard unit with quick release ends and either polycarbonate white blades or black phenolic blades at a lower price. Now let me talk a little bit about why you would want to have a leeboard unit. The purpose of the leeboards is to keep the canoe from sliding sideways and it can do that when the canoe is moving forward. If the canoe is not moving the leeboards aren't going to do much of anything. They're very important when sailing this is what takes the place of a centerboard or dagger board and allows the sailing canoe to sail across the wind or tack upwind because the leeboards, as they're moving forward through the water, prevent the canoe from being blown sideways too much. They're also useful for motoring. If you've got leeboards up front, it really sharpens the steering response from having an outboard trolling motor in the rear. In fact, you want to get used to it at low speed before you open the throttle once you put leeboards on because the steering is so much quicker. If you want to move the motor forward toward the middle of the canoe, you're going to lose all steering control without leeboards. Because think about it, the way a motor steers the canoe is by pushing the rear of the canoe in the opposite direction from how you want to point the canoe to make your turn. Kind of like pushing a supermarket shopping cart backwards, right? You turn that motor, it pushes the rear end of the canoe out, points it in a different connection direction. But if the motor is at the middle, when you turn the motor, all it does is slide the canoe sideways unless you've got something up front that prevents the front from sliding sideways. If you've got the leeboards up front, then that's like a stake in the ground that keeps the front from sliding sideways. And when you turn that motor to the side to make your turn, it swivels the canoe just as if the motor were at the rear. And so you've got normal steering response restored and you're able to sit in the middle, which you might want to do in order to balance the canoe better if you're solo and still have 
good steering control. So that's why you want a leeboard unit, even for paddling. If you're paddling with a crosswind, leeboards will help you paddle straight. So that's the sailboats to go, telescoping leeboard unit with quick release ends and either unbreakable blades or the standard phenolic blades. Where do you buy them? Sailboatstogo.com. That's my website. They're in the parts department of the website, but there's a little search window up near the top of the screen on the website. And if you just put leeboards in there, then the search will come up and show you all different leeboard products and you'll find the one you want that way. Or you could put telescoping leeboard unit, something like that in there. And that should bring it up. Or you can put sailboats to go leeboard unit right into Google and that'll find the right place in the website, quite likely. You can call me, 978-263-7598 is my phone number. I'm on the East Coast, so don't wake me up in the middle of the night, but otherwise you can call me nights and weekends at a reasonable hour, as well as weekdays. You can email me, jim at sailboats2go.com is my email address, and that might be the best way to reach me. Sailboats to go is just standard spelling, sailboats, S-A-I-L-B-O-A-T-S, to go, T-O-G-O, just like a hamburger, hamburger to go or a pizza to go. This is sailboats to go because our whole thing is making sailing extremely portable. Thanks for watching.